What's up, everybody? It's Big John. You see the glasses are on, which means I'm cleaning and pressing books. Um, so, uh, I have a few more books that I've cleaned and pressed. Um, but one of the uh, videos I watched last night um, was from Rick Morgan at Immaculate Comics on a percentage of peroxide uh, to distilled water for basically um, cleaning, shadowing and, and, and foxing and stuff like that off of a book to whiten the pages. So um, I do the same thing. Um, I do the 40% and then 60% distilled water. Um, and then I, I, I gave a few of my opinions on, uh, on this subject because one thing about peroxide, um, is that it will make the page or pages brittle. Um, the way that I have gotten around it is I wipe off the excess moisture. I don't leave it like really wet. I, I sort of dry it a little bit and then I rinse the cover with distilled water. Then I dry that and then I use my UV light. And yes, it does take, it can take two to three applications. Depends on how dark the shadowing is on the book. Um, I'm doing a Fantastic 467, the first hymn, the cocoon cover, and it was really, really bad. I'm going to show you pictures of that and then of what it looks like now after this is the fourth, but I'm only using a 30 split on this cover. I'm using 30% peroxide and 70% distilled water, and then I'm using distilled water and then drying in between each step and then using my UV light. And this is after about two days. So um, I want to thank Rick from Immaculate Comics for putting out that video. Um, of course, he does everything scientifically. Um, so that was really cool to see that. And I made a few comments on some people's questions that were on that. Um, but sort of got me motivated because I'm actually doing what he posted on that video last night. I, I, I do it every day and um, I'm happen to be doing it right now on this Fantastic Four. So I just figured I'd let everyone know. Also, when you're using a peroxide mix, first of all, the strongest you'll ever be able to buy without a license is 40%. You can buy 50% but you'll need a license. Um, number two, I don't recommend anything over 40% because it's so strong. It will burn your fingertips or your fingers. It'll burn them to, it looks like white ash. Um, so you want to make sure you wear your gloves. Do not touch your face near your eyes. Don't go near your mouth or your nose. Um, even when you remove your gloves, still wash your hands. Um, and I don't recommend anything over 50, uh, over 40%. And the reason for that is because it could burn holes in your book. Okay. So remember, be patient, do your due diligence. If you don't see instant results, don't, don't sweat that. Go ahead and repeat the steps, okay? I just prefer to wipe my covers down with distilled water after the application of the peroxide distilled water because I don't want the whatever I'm working on to become brittle over time. And the brittle doesn't have to be in its raw form. It will become brittle even in an encapsulated form. I've seen it. So... Don't think you're safe just because the book is encapsulated because the book will get brittle no matter what. Okay? So this is Big Big John. 
I will show you those pictures. Uh, I will flash them across the screen, but for right now, I'm out.